Welcome back to part two on how you can impress your employer or your client and blow them away by doing the work of 10 employees from these AI prompts. So if you didn't get to see the last video, I gave you 10 prompts on how you can do the work of 10 employees and to thoroughly impress any employer or client that you have. And so watch those and then come back to this video so that you can see the next 10 because there's a lot and they're so juicy and I had to break it up into two videos. Let's go, gonna dive right into it. Let's hit the next round of prompts for you guys. You can use these on ChatGPT or you guys can use these on you.com or your favorite AI chatbot platform. So number 11, this one's gonna really help you learn faster. So anything new that you're trying to deal with at your job or for your client, here's how you're gonna learn it 10 times faster. You're gonna say, explain whatever, here's the prompt. You're gonna say, explain whatever the complex topic is like I'm five years old. Then give me a detailed study guide so that I can retain the information in an easy way. I'm telling you the second part of that prompt will help you so, so much. Number 12, this one is the gap performance analysis framework. And here's the prompt. Perform a gap analysis for my product or business or brand. What is the difference between our current state and our desired future state? Create a report for this for your client or your employer and pff, they will love you. Number 13, this is how you can implement the McKenzie S 7S framework. Here's the prompt. Analyze my product or business using the 7S framework. How aligned are our strategies, our strategy structure, systems, and shared values, skills, style, and staff? This tool just really helps you with your organization. Number 15, and one of my personal favorites that I use literally all the time. This is how you can get direct advice from any of your business idols or mentors, alive or dead. Here's the prompt. Here's the situation I'm currently facing. Then insert your situation. Based on these circumstances, what would Steve Jobs recommend me to do? You can obviously put anybody in there, but I always like to use the reference of Steve Jobs because I know he's got a lot of insightful or did have a lot of insightful um, uh, ideas. Uh, it's really, really good. I use it all the time. I, I hope you guys really like that one. Number 16, this is the capital uh, asset pricing model. So here is the prompt. Evaluate my product slash business, business's potential investment return risks using the capital assessment pricing model. What is our expected return based on systematic risk? Again, this is super important if your brand or your employer is wanting to try something new and you can put into play what the uh, monetary risks are. Number 17, this is important for everybody. Uh, this is going to be how to optimize website SEO so that you rank uh, on all of those search engines that you want to rank high for. So here is the prompt. Provide a step-by-step -step guide to optimize my website's SEO for here are the key target keywords or where you want to actually rank high. You can also list out your competitors and say, how can we outrank the competitors? Number 18, this is how you analyze your monthly recurring revenue. So here is the prompt. Break down my product, brand, or services monthly recurring revenue. How much is the new MRR, the expansion MRR, the churned MRR, and the contraction MRR? <sighs> Number 19, and this is how you can figure out uh, lifetime value of a customer or product and then the cost per acquisition of that product. Here's the prompt. Analyze my LTV versus my CAC, so the lifetime value versus the cost of that acquisition for my product. How can we enhance customer value or reduce acquisition costs to optimize this ratio? So good. And number 20, if you're ever just looking to really blow your employer or client out of the water just randomly on any given day, use this prompt. You're going to analyze business trends and challenges. So here's the prompt. Analyze the current state of the industry, whatever industry your brand or employer is in, and describe its trends, challenges, and opportunities. Support your analysis with relevant data and statistics. Additionally, provide a comprehensive list of key players in the industry. Pew, pew, pew. So there you have it. Those are the full 20 prompts that are really going to blow your employer's mind and make you the smartest one in the room. And hopefully you get a promotion or a raise, or if it is a client that you're working with, they are going to absolutely love you. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are of these in the comments. If you've ever used anything like this, if you've used any of these and you like them, let me know. I'd love to hear from you.